Hey guys, it's Papa Steve on the move. Here we are, it's a beautiful Saturday morning. Sun's just coming up. We're gonna take a balloon ride. We're gonna be up about a thousand feet above the ground. Here we're Sundance Balloons in Calgary, Alberta. Been looking forward to this for a long time. Gonna go up, take a couple photos and show you guys what you can expect on this balloon ride. Sundance Balloons has grown to be one of the world's largest operators of commercial hot air balloons, flying over 30,000 passengers each year across Canada. Seasonal flights are scheduled from May to October, with early morning flights meeting before sunrise and evening flights meeting two to three hours before sunset. Purchasing flight vouchers online is simple and easy. I'll leave a link in the comment section. We took our flight in Calgary, Alberta. We met the pilot Mitch and the chase crew, Wilma and Gary, at the Blackfoot Inn and were transported with the other nine passengers to the liftoff location in South Glenmore Park by van. Scheduling a flight is also very simple. In the bottom left hand corner of each of your flight vouchers you'll find a voucher ID and an authorization code. Enter these numbers in the spaces provided and select continue. If your flight was cancelled, and there is a high degree it may be, or if you would like to reschedule or cancel your flight, enter your reference ID and click continue. It took us almost four years to book our flight. Combinations of COVID related shutdowns, bad weather, and our own busy schedule made it difficult to get in the air. Sundance balloons fly balloons 210,000 cubic feet to 310,000 cubic feet in size. They typically carry eight to 12 passengers making it easy to accommodate families and groups. Gary waved me over to have a look inside the balloon as it inflated before they capped off the top. Ah, that's Gary, awesome. These guys are way bigger than you think. <laughs> Come right close. Wow. Well, this only lasts for a few seconds. amazing. That's cool. Wow. Thanks, Gary. You were right. That was, uh, that was something. Highly recommend this as there's a very small window to see it. The inside of the balloon is cavernous and was really cool to see Mitch inside of it. A pair of high-powered propane burners ignites and heats liquid propane that is aimed into the balloon to make it rise. The burners create 30 million BTUs of heat. In comparison, an average home barbecue generates 30,000 BTUs. Each flight uses approximately 100 liters of propane. One of my favorite parts of the whole trip was prior to liftoff. When the balloon was nearly fully inflated, Mitch grabbed me and two others and positioned us in the basket. Now the basket was still on its side. We were instructed to lie down inside the basket with our backs to the ground. Three others did the same on the opposite side. Now we hung on as Mitch finished inflating the balloon, lifted it into the air and right at the basket. Alright guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the landing position. That means putting your bum into the padding, leaning Remember, in, you're just putting your knees down, grabbing hold of the handles in front of you. The other direction, facing the car, guys, facing the car. He then waved over the other passengers who climbed in, and soon after we had liftoff. The large baskets are hardly roomy, but are more than adequate to move around in all directions with three passengers per corner section. The balloons have turning vents, so the pilot can rotate the balloon during flight, giving everyone a 360 degree view. We had excellent views of the sunrise, the city of Calgary in the background, and the Glenmore Reservoir. We were also treated to many wildlife interactions as we passed over Fish Creek Park, including several deer, many bird species, rabbits, and even one coyote. We watched golfers tee off, and we had several families come out of their houses to wave at us passing by. This is definitely an interactive experience. At the heart of it all was our pilot, an Aussie from Melbourne, who entertained us with his stories and bad jokes. Really appreciate the smooth ride and expertise in handling the balloon. Thanks, Mitch. The Yankee, uh, one, two, three, five. 
Yeah, uh, we're going south. <laughs> <laughs> the balloon travels the same speed as the wind. An average flight is approximately 15 kilometers in length and lasts approximately one hour. Some flights can vary from 45 minutes to one and a half hours, depending on the amount of fuel on board, the passenger's combined weight, the temperature of the air, and when the pilot finds a suitable landing field. We missed our first landing spot due to wind, so enjoyed a longer ride of about 20 kilometers and 90 minutes long. The ground crew quickly moved on to the next landing spot and were there to greet us as Mitch navigated near a church steeple and set us down in the school field. Ah. How awesome was that for Flag Island? That was great. That was absolutely fabulous. Here I am figuring out we're doing an half and a half. Why are we not doing an hour and ten? Really? Lucky us. Happy? In place. Woo! How much fun is this? It's cool. Just making your work easy. Easy, I wouldn't call. Enjoyable for sure. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, guys, you're more than welcome to all jump out now if you like. Do the crew a solid favor and help them repack the balloon after the ride. Many hands make quick work and enjoy a complimentary glass of champagne afterward. Take flight and join over 250,000 Sundance balloon ride passengers who have explored from above. They fly out of 10 different Canadian cities in Ontario and Western Canada. For additional information on hot air balloon rides, click on the city location nearest you to view your local flight schedules, pricing, and location information. Prices for hot air balloon rides may vary by location. Check off your bucket list and join Sundance Balloons for that once in a lifetime adventure. We had a great time. Even though we had so much trouble getting the air, it was totally worth it and I would definitely repeat and highly recommend. Big shout out to Gary, Wilma, and Mitch. You guys really made it an awesome experience for us. So that's it for this week, guys. Why don't you leave your comments and questions down below or chat with me on Facebook or Instagram. I really look forward to hearing from y'all. Until next week, I'll see you guys on the trail. It's Papa Steve on the move. Thank <laughs> you.